Okay, after finish uh, all the invoice guideline, so the next one is the uh, after finish. Are you ready? Now is it is the time? Are you ready after listening all my sharing? Is it complicated? Are you ready or not? So I have some uh, recommendation guide tips for you. Uh. So after you attending this uh, seminar, actually you're supposed to give a uh, relevant the training to your internal department to all the staff because all the staff you know should know what is the e invoice uh, because they might need they might have a clean stock claim from the company. So you need to let them know what is the requirement. So the next one, you might calculate and allocate what is the budget for you to set up and buy the software. Of course, now to issue invoice, if you want to buy a software, you use the API software, you need to have a, you need to pay some extra money. So you need to calculate and ask how much the money for you to upgrade the system. And then make sure the accounting software is compliant with the e-invoice requirement. Uh, all right. Identify your customer request and customer detail. Actually, start from now, you can start request your customer detail, like pin number, email address, whatever. You put it in your customer uh, half hour first. So when the uh, time invoice is ready, so you're already able to issue invoice to your customer. Don't wait until the last minute. Huh? So if you <laughs> wait until last minute, then, then when the time come, you want to issue invoice, you need to ask the customer many questions. So there's no, no enough time for you to issue invoice on time. So you can start from now. Uh, send out the letter to your customer, ask them to give you the all the details required for the invoice. Set up a, a SOP for internal when you request a claim uh, to request an invoice. Identify whether your industry fall under the consolidated, whether you're required to issue consolidated. Identify whether you fall under the cell bill. So reconcile the revenue of e invoice and consolidated. Okay, prepare and update employer policy and start benefit claim, and then any backup plan, whether if let's say the system down, where is the backup plan? So this is a quick tip for you uh, for to implement e-invoice in your company. So e-invoice, is there any penalty if I did not issue e-invoice? 